Hi students, how are you? Very fine. Welcome to GDRT YouTube channel. Today's session, the fraction of light at curved surfaces, part two. Yesterday, part one, I have completed 46 bits. Today, I have, I have start from the 47th bit. Once again, I welcome you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Wish you all the best. Okay, once again, I request you to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. In each chapter, there are three parts, sub bits, videos. You have to watch all the parts. Don't miss any part. Today, next, first, today's first bit, that is 47th bit in this chapter. When your convex lens is kept, convex lens is convex lens is kept in a medium whose refractive index is more than that of the lens. It behaves like a as a dash lens. Convex lens on the in a medium whose refractive index is more than that of the lens. Lens yaka refractive index karna, yaku refractive index on the medium low, unchinat like the Abradi, then yaka behave othundi. Tell me, yeah, very good. It behaves like a divergent lens, that is concave lens. Suppose if your lens is kept in a refractive index whose refractive index is less than that of the lens. So lens canna takku refractive index unna okay anakam lo convex lens unchinat laite apra denga panjasunante convergent lens on the matter okay convex lens next one a curved surface used to see an enlarged object is so to see enlarged object which surface is used tell me yeah Magnifying glass, magnifying glass, especially convex lens when the object is placed between pole and the focus, it forms magnified a real and inverted image. This property is used as a magnifying glass. Next one, the dash of the sphere which contain the part of the curved surface is called the center of the curvature. Tell me what is the center of curvature? Nothing but that center of the sphere of which the curved surface is a part is the center of curvature. Next question is the line joining the center of curvature and the pole. Center of curvature C ni pole P ni Kalpe line name on tamo. So P Polo, center of curvature C. Irenditan Kalipto gave an array can even tama. Tell me, yeah, very good. Principal, principal axis, Pradhan Archamu and Tamu. Next question on the skin, the center of curve, the center of curved surface is called the dash. Center of curved surface is called the dash. Here yeah, there is no question on the screen. Center of curved surface is called the pole. Center of curved surface is called the pole. Dhruva Montamu. The lemon in the water of glass tumbler appears to be. Chipma. Tell me what is the answer? Yeah, it appears to be bigger in size than its actual size. Bigger means bulged. So, neatlo unchina nimaka yamatundi, pedadiga kanipisundi, that is bulged, the bigger in size and term. Next question on the screen the distance of a curved surface is measured. The distance of a curved surface is measured from the dash. Tell me, yeah, very correct. Pole from the Pole, Dhruva Manunde, annim distances to measure Chayala. 
next question on the second distance measured along the direction of the incident light are taken as so sign convention some term we have to thorough with the sign conventions of either mirrors or lens here distance measured along the direction of the incident ray incident ray a direction lo ante a direction lo measure chesthe has to be taken positive so in the direction of incident ray all the distances are taken as positive next question on the screen distances measured opposite to the direction of the incident day tell me yeah very good negative that is why in the case of lenses or mirrors the object distance is always taken as negative why the incident ray and the distance from the pole to the object are in opposite to each other then the heights measured vertically above the principal axis tell me em avutundi yeah it is positive above the axis positive ga iskola height of the image or height of the object when measured vertically upwards next one when heights are measured vertically downwards from the points on the axis principal axis so when the height of the image or height of the object is measured downwards it is taken as the negative so these are the conventions sign conventions sign convention first time all the measures should be measured from the pole itself only next in the direction of incident ray it is taken as positive in the opposite direction of the incident ray it is taken as negative similarly vertical upwards from the principal axis taken as positive vertical downwards from the points on the axis is taken as negative next there a dash is formed when a transparent material is bounded by two surfaces of which one or both surfaces are spherical it is the definition of the lens so lens is a transparent material bounded by two surfaces of which one or both surfaces are spherical next question on the screen the lens which have two spherical surfaces bulging outwards ma bulging outward by pike ubbetu ga unna tavanti spherical surfaces tho kalisina tavanti lens ne untaru ya yeah, double convex lens double convex lens similarly a double convex lens is thick at the middle and thin at the edges so thick at the middle when compared to the edges so double convex lens adi madhyalo mandanga untundi ఎడ్జస్ట్ వద్ద చివరల కొనల వద్ద పల్సగా ఉంటుంది నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ డబుల్ కాన్కేవ్ లెన్స్ ఈజ్ డాష్ అట్ ద మిడిల్ అండ్ థిక్కర్ అట్ ద ఎడ్జ్ సో కాన్కేవ్ లెన్స్ విచ్ ఇస్ బల్జ్డ్ ఇన్వర్డ్స్ అనమాట సో మధ్యలో థిన్ గా ఉంటుంది చివరల్లో థిక్ గా ఉంటుంది థిన్ ఇన్ ద మిడిల్ అట్ ద మిడిల్ అండ్ థిక్కర్ అట్ ద ఎడ్జ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ద పోల్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ యాజ్ టెల్ మీ పోల్ yeah very good optic center optic center pole is also center of the spherical surface optical center or pole next dash lens always forms a virtual diminished image virtual diminished which is the inverted image sorry erected image virtual erected and diminished image yeah tell me very good answer concave lens which is also known as double concave lens both are correct concave lens or double concave lens next question on the screen dash lens called converging lens converging means after refraction the refracted rays meet at a point on the principal axis yeah very good convex lens is called as the converging lens dash lens is called diverging lens diverging means after refraction they cannot meet after refraction the rays cannot meet at a point they appear to be coming from a point on the principal axis it is known as concave lens diverging lens concave lens converging lens 
convex length next any ray passing through the principal axis any ray passing through the principal axis em avutundamma remains undeviated along the principal axis velledi undeviated next any ray passing through the pole passing through the pole pole all optic center pole gani optic center gunda vellere em avutundi it is also undeviated it goes straight it goes straight undeviated next the ray passing through dash will take path parallel to the principal axis so after refraction it passes parallel to the principal axis so the ray passing through dash tell me so the ray passing through the focus through the focus after refraction it passes parallel to the principal axis next the ray passing parallel to the principal axis passing parallel to the principal axis dash at focus by a convex convex lens already i i just say that convex lens is a converging lens so rays parallel to the principal axis converge at the focus meet at the focus next one the rays passing parallel to the principal axis diverge from the dash by the concave lens so rays passing parallel to the principal axis diverge from the dash by a concave lens yeah very good by a focus by a focus next lens dash image can be seen with eyes dash image can be seen with eyes tell me what is the answer so virtual image can be seen with eyes which cannot be caught on the screen anamata so virtual vidya pratibimbarni manam lens lo manam kanta neerga chudavachu it cannot be caught on the screen therefore derini pattalemu but real image cannot be seen with eyes naked eyes but it can be caught on the screen next question on the screen if the size of the image is larger than its it is called dash image so size of the image is larger it is said to be enlarged image otherwise big sized image otherwise it is known as magnified image so size of the image anedi object kanna ekkuvaga unnatlayite అప్పుడు ఏం చెప్తాము మ్యాగ్నిఫైడ్ ఇమేజ్ ఏర్పడుతుంది ఎన్లార్జ్ ఇమేజ్ ఏర్పడుతుంది లేదా బిగ్ సైజ్ ఇమేజ్ ఏర్పడుతుంది అని చెప్తాం నెక్స్ట్ సైజ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇమేజ్ ఈ స్మాలర్ చిన్నదిగా ఏర్పడితే అప్పుడు ఏమంటామ్మా ఇట్ ఈజ్ డిమినిస్డ్ ఇమేజ్ డిమినిస్డ్ ఇమేజ్ సో సైజ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇమేజ్ ఈజ్ స్మాలర్ దెన్ ద ఇమేజ్ ఈ సెట్ టు బి డిమినిస్డ్ ఇమేజ్ అన్నమాట next question on the screen dash image cannot be screen on sorry cannot be seen with our eyes cannot be seen with our eyes tell me yeah very good you are correct real image real image next dash image is captured on the screen which can be caught on the screen tell me which can be caught on the screen captured on the screen yeah you are correct that is ye yeah, real image can be captured on the screen real image formed as side of the lens so real image is always formed on the other side of the lens other side of the lens the real image formed as side of the lens other side of the lens next virtual image form dash side of the lens object side of the lens object a wipe unte a wipe ne erpadutundi virtual image form dash side of the lens object side of the lens
if the focal length is negative then the lens is said to be tell me focal length negative aithe it is the concave lens it is the concave lens for concave lens focal length is negative if the focal length is positive then the lens is tell me yeah very good convex lens convex lens next question the focal length of the convex lenses two lenses one is 10 cm another one is 20 cm if we placed their two in contact with each other then the combined effect of the focal length is combined effect of the focal length is so here two convex lenses unnai two convex lenses unnai so it is one lens another one is placed in contact ikkada rendu contact lo unnai deeni yokka f velova f1 first di f1 velova 10 cm so focal length of the first lens 10 cm focal length of the second one f2 20 cm then combined effect rendu avadani koti contact sparsh lo unde vidhanga amarchinappudu combined effect of the focal length enta untundi the relation is 1 by f f is the focal length of the combined effect is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 annamata so that is equal to em cheppachu 1 by first focal length and the 10 plus one by 20 1 by 20 now lcm and the jepo lcm is equal to 20 so lcm 20 10th in sal both in 22 times both on the 2 to 20th in sal both in the one time 2 plus 1 that is equal to in the tell me 3 by 20 3 by 20 so 1 by f is equal to 3 by 20 therefore f is equal to 20 by 3 20 by 3 so 20 ne 3 to division chese ni sal avutundi tell me it is 36 ja 36 ja 18 2 3 6 is 18 so the answer is d is the correct answer combined effect valla focal length em ayipindi 6.67 ku taggi poyindi next question on the screen the focal length of the lens depend upon focal length of the lens depend upon tell me material of the lens radius of curvature medium in which lens is placed all the above so all the above is correct so focal length of the lens depends upon the material of the lens different materials have different optical densities and hence different focal lengths radius of curvature medium in which lens is placed next one a convex lens is placed in convex lens is placed in water its focal length em avutundi tell me yeah when convex lens is placed in water 
its focal length increases its focal length increases next question on the screen which one of the following is normally used for the preparation of the lenses preparation of the lenses any transparent material can be used to make lens anamata here water is a transparent material hence used to make lens glass is also used to make lens then plastic is also used to make lens and all of the these so mainly we say glass is used to make the lens next so here all are correct ma all are correct anyone can be used to make the lens because these are transparent materials next paraxial rays are those which passes paraxial rays and tema tell me which passes close to the principal axis principal axis ko daggaraga vachi patanam ayya e kiranan ayna we can say that they are paraxial rays so any rays passing very close to principal axis and incident on the lens are said to be paraxial rays next question on the screen a ray passing through dash of a convex lens will take a path parallel to the principal axis so after refraction it it is parallel to the principal axis then the ray passing through tell me center of curvature is focus pole parallel to principal axis so the ray passing through focus after refraction passes through parallel to the principal axis next question on the screen if ax is the tangent ax is the tangent then xac1 xac1 angle enta untundi annadu ma tell me so it ac1 is the normal to the lens it is the normal to the lens deeniki tangent ga unde de em avutundi it is also normal so the angle between these two normals is 90 degrees next question on the screen which of the following is the refracted ray which of the following is the refracted ray so here it is the em lens cheppandi chusukundam cheppukoni chuddam so it is the concave lens sorry con vex convex lens ma convex lens here light ray passes through focus here it is focus passes through any ray passing through focus after refraction em jarutundi ma tell me passes parallel to the principal axis parallel to the principal axis here which is the par parallel to principal axis k is the parallel to the principal axis so which of the following is the refracted ray ante k is the refracted ray because a light ray is passing through focus light is passing through focus it is the focus anamata after refraction it passes parallel to the principal axis so k is the refracted ray next question on the screen parallel rays making some angle with principal axis met on dash after refraction tell me parallel rays making some angle here two rays parallel rays making some angle with the principal axis met on here ikkada met avutunnai so this is known as the a point on the focal lens point on the focal plane 
నహబీయ తలము అంటమ్మా నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆన్ ద స్క్రీన్ ఎల్ ఎం ఆర్ ఎల్ ఎం ఆర్ ప్యారల్ రేస్ ఎల్ అండ్ ఎం దీస్ టు ఆర్ ప్యారల్ రేస్ సో కేఈస్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ద కాన్ కేవ్ లెన్స్ కేఈస్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ద కాన్ గివన్ లెన్స్ ఈజ్ కాన్ కేవ్ లెన్స్ కాన్ కేవ్ లెన్స్ మా so m and l are parallel rays the parallel rays when incident on the concave lens they diverge ila elthay ma they diverge not passing through focus so it is the diverging lens these two rays refracted see the id em avutundi do not meet anywhere here so when these two rays are extended backward they meet at a point k so now k is known as the f1 k is known as the f1 focus anamata k is known as f1 next which of the following is a wrong one tell me which of the following is a wrong wrong one so one is correct two is also correct so here parallel rays it is the convex lens my it is convex lens so convex lens so con- parallel rays pa- passing the parallel ray parallel rays em avutund after refraction they meet at a పాయింట్ ఫోకస్ దగ్గర మీట్ కావాలా ఇక్కడ ఎక్కడ ఇచ్చినాడు అట్ ద టూ ఎఫ్ టూ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ కర్వేచర్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ద రాంగ్ వన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద రాంగ్ వన్ విచ్ ఈస్ ద రాంగ్ వన్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఆఫ్టర్ రిఫ్రాక్షన్ ఏం కావాలి ఫాసస్ త్రో ఫోకస్ ఎఫ్ టూ గుండా వెళ్ళాలి నాట్ విత్ ద టూ ఎఫ్ టూ దట్ ఈస్ సెంటర్ గుండా వెళ్ళవు సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ కర్వేచర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద con cave lens so con cave so here ray passing through pole passing through optic center pole does not deviate it is pole does not deviate so right one so here concave lens it is also a concave lens so the rays parallel with two principal axis diverge each other so all the above a is the wrong answer next xa is the mirror plane x a xa is the mirror plane angle aob is equal to 35 degrees aob so it is given 35 degrees aob is 35 degrees so what is the angle of incidence in the following diagram we have to find out the angle of incident id enta so it is the angle of refraction sorry angle of reflection or reflection so it is the mirror plane here there is a reflection takes place so it is the refracted angle so this total angle is 90 ikkada nunchi ikkada ikkada entha untundi 90 degrees untundi so now what is the refracted angle r is equal to em avutundi 90 minus 
That is equal to 35 bote. Tell me 55 degrees. 55 degrees. So you know that loss of reflection, loss of reflection, angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. I is equal to R. So reflection low in the rotundi, I is equal to R angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. So option C is correct. Option C is correct. Next question on the screen. According to sign conventions, according to sign convention, signs of U and R, U and R two in the following ray diagram. So you always, you know that negative, U is always negative. It is the convex lens, convex lens. It is the surface one, surface one first surface. It is the surface two. So surface one yaka it la this go to so it lies center e y puntunuma center e y punta de so center of curvature r r s one and tummy the r one no s two is e y puntundi so in the incident day direction of the so it is positive so the option is sorry s2 s2 ek center ey punta di so it is also negative option c is correct option c is correct so s2 surface idi din ek center ey punta di so Radius of curvature is taken as negative. U always negative. Next question on the screen. Signs of U, V, and F in the following diagram as per convention R. So tell me where is object? It is the object. So it is U. U is negative, U is negative. It is the image, it is V, it is V, V also negative. Next question, F for this lens f is also negative all are negative all are negative so object distance is always negative image is formed on the same side of the object so it is also negative then the focal length is also negative all are negative all are negative Next question on the screen. To get a magnified real image screen from a convex lens, the object should be placed at a distance of. So, ma, to get a magnified and a real image, magnified and a real image, the screen from a convex lens would be placed at a distance of. Tell me. Below the below the focal length, above the focal length, equal to the focal length, above the image is not possible. Image is not possible. Next question on the screen. A fish is moving upwards vertically with a speed of three meters per second in water. The refractive index of water is four by three. At the same time, a bird is moving 
with the speed of 4 meters per second toward the fish vertically downwards the fish feels the bird is moving with the speed of dash meters per second so here it is equal to 25 by 3 so here fish from fish is moving upwards and bird is moving downwards so the relative speed is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 refractive index is equal to 4 by 3 and calculate this it becomes 25 by 3 next question on the screen a convex lens is cut into two parts as shown in the diagram so then the focal length of the each half of the part oka half part yak focal length em avutundi when a convex lens is cut horizontally into two equal parts each part has the focal length equal to that of the lens so equal to f next rays incident on dash diverges from a focal plane of a concave lens tell me 97 Rays incident on dash diverges from the focal plane of a convex lens. Focal plane, now be a talamulo diverge a a b. So parallel rays making some angles with the principal axis. Parallel rays making some angles with the principal axis. So it is concave lens. So it is they diverge. In a focal plane, at the convex lens, say that they converge at a point in the focal plane. Next question on the screen: Light traveling from a denser medium to rarer medium along a normal to the boundary. Traveling from a denser medium to rarer medium along the normal. So means when it incident normally, what happens? Tell me. the ray does not undergo refraction undeviated it go straight it go straight anamata straight ga velthundi so is not reflected here normally perpendicular ga incident aithe em avuthund annamu does remains undeviated passes straight so means it does not undergo refraction because there is no bending of the light ray if there is a bending of the light ray then say it is get refracted next question on screen ray of light passing from glass into air so glass into air ray passing from glass into air the angle of refraction will be so tell me glass is the denser medium it is the denser medium air is the air is the rarer medium rarer medium so light ray passing from denser medium to rarer medium what happens tell me it moves away from the normal why due to increase in speed then what happens the angle of refraction will be angle of refraction em avutundi is greater than the angle of incident move away from the normal gaat em avutundi angle of refraction r is greater than i r is angle of refraction is greater than i avutundi next question on the screen today last question a ray of light traveling in air traveling in air goes into water here water is the denser medium water is the denser medium air is the rarer medium so light ray traveling from rarer to Dense light is what to do. Bent toward the normal. Why? Because its speed decreases. Speed decreases. Then the angle of refraction will be what to do. As it bends toward the normal, angle of refraction R becomes 
less than i r becomes less than i smaller than the angle of incident smaller than the angle of incident okay i wish you once again thank you for watching my video i request to you to like share and subscribe to my channel like share and subscribe to my channel watch all the my videos it is my second video in the chapter which is refraction of light at curved surfaces fourth chapter tomorrow the, the third part is also there we have to watch all the parts we have to watch all the parts don't miss don't miss once again i request you